Welcome to our Friday class. Um, so today, this is going to be a fun one. Kelly and I have been working on this class we, all week or all month long. We've been um, talking actually for the last two months. We've been talking about healthy habits and the idea of creating ways that you can use oils daily in your in your life and in your family. Anyway, we thought it would be kind of fun to do a class since it's summer. This week was the last week of school here where we live and kids are out of school now. They're starting to yesterday that you know, they were walking up and down the street in their little groups of friends and playing together. And there's, it's summertime, even though it's still kind of cold here, but um, it's summertime. So we thought it would be kind of fun to do a class centered all around the idea of outdoor entertaining and things that we can do outside in the summertime to get outside, be active. That's part of being healthy. But then we also wanted to incorporate some essential oils into your outdoor entertaining and things that maybe you haven't thought of. Um, that could be fun ways to introduce your friends to oils or even getting them into your life even more on a daily basis. So we're going to start out with some fun, just outdoor fun ideas that you can do for entertaining. And I'm going to do that part and then I'm going to turn it over to Callie to talk about how to incorporate the oils into it. So I'm going to do a screen share. Let me share my screen with you. So, oh, I got to scroll up to the top. So as I was thinking about outdoor entertaining and fun things, I started thinking about when I go to picnics or to barbecues in the summertime, it's always fun when there's something to do besides just sit and talk. I mean, I love to just sit and visit with people, but my kids don't, they get bored and it's always fun to have something to do. So I got on Pinterest this week and I started doing some searches just for some fun outdoor things to do when you're entertaining because I like to have people come over to our house, but I want to have something fun for them to do. So I found this website, it's DIYs or DIYs.com. And this particularly is lawn games. So how many times have you gone to a picnic at somebody's house and they have like a cornhole game where they have, usually what we end up doing is just playing basketball or football because I have all boys. And so I have one boy that doesn't go anywhere without a football tucked under his arm. And he always can seem to gather people to play football with him. But um, for those of us who aren't maybe into football, these are some fun ideas. So I thought I'd show them and they're really easy to make. And I will post the link to this website in the comments for the video so that you can get to it really easy, but they're really easy to make. So this one right here is Stephanie, just, yeah, go ahead. You're like breaking up every other word. I don't know if it's just me. Then I'm going to move to a different place because I probably don't have good. Let me move. Okay. You're actually fine for me. Oh, is it? Maybe so, it's just me yeah. then. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I just moved. So. I have. Okay. Well, sometimes I don't get the best internet in my office, so which is sad. I don't want to look at Sprint. Go back to what I had before. There we go. So this looked like a fun one. Just a little tic-tac-toe game where you could take a piece of I don't know how many people like us, my house, we have lots of scrap wood around. You can find scrap pieces of wood easy. Take a piece of wood, paint a tic-tac-toe board on it. I thought these were really cute, the little rocks with the X's and O's. You could keep some kids entertained with that probably for quite a while, playing tic-tac-toe with rocks. Um, another fun way to do this, and I've done this before, and it actually is really fun. You can make it a race where you, and I don't have a picture of this, but you can make a big giant tic-tac-toe board where you just lay down either boards or pieces of PVC pipe, just anything straight. You make a giant tic-tac-toe board and you have two of them. You divide into two teams and each team has something that they carry, um, like a Frisbee or a ball or even rocks. And the point of the game is to run down and place your 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 pieces in your board and try and beat the other team i hope that makes sense so you can have so you could have oh i've done it with two two boards but you could just do one board where you're blocking each other and you're it's a running race where you put an x and then the other team runs and puts an o and blocks you and anyway it's really fun i hope that makes sense but it's a fun tic-tac-toe game that you can play um that's an active one for kids or for I did it with a bunch of adults. It was fun. 
Um, this one right here, was, I, when I looked this up, at first I thought, how are they making that? That looks so cute. Really, these little rings for the ring toss, they're just embroidery hoops that they wrapped um, some of that flax cord around. It's just an embroidery hoop. And then they just took bottles and spray painted them to make a ring toss game. Super easy. This one is lawn bowling. This is something my kids love to do. You just take, just for this one, it was just two liter, liter bottles that you can use. Like if you are having a barbecue and you buy a bunch of soda, you'll probably have some, but just get a bunch of two liter bottles. You can paint them fun like these little dwarfs if you're that talented. I'm not, but just put some water in them so that they're heavy and you can use a tennis or a, this looks like a big basketball type thing or a kids play. It looks like a tennis ball, but it, I think it's probably bigger than a tennis ball to knock them down. And just for the fun of it, just so that I, I know as I'm thinking about outdoor fun with, I'm always thinking about kids because I have kids and I'm thinking of ways to keep kids entertained. This kind of a game would keep my kids entertained. Uh, this is just a throw it. You're throwing bean bags at cans. You can paint the cans so that they're cute like this. Or what she did for these is, um, she found these little sock pouch things and just put rice in them and sewed them up. Or if you're like me and you have a whole bunch of socks randomly laying around that don't have mates, you can make bean bags out of those. Just put your beans or your, or your rice inside those socks and you can either tie the top off with a knot or if you wanna stitch it up with a sewing machine, you can stitch it up with a sewing machine. But it's an easy, fun little game that you could put together when you have people over. Um, this one I think was my favorite. I love the game of Twister. And so I, but I never thought of taking spray paint and painting Twister on your lawn and then playing it on a big scale. You could make a great big Twister board and have lots of people involved with it. The lady that did this, she found a paint, she called it contractor's paint at the Home Depot that washed off. So once they were done with the game, they could spray it and wash it off. Otherwise you could wait for it to grow out and just mow it off either way. This one is good for little guys. She found, what you do is find um, some cork boards. They're called cork tiles. You can get them at like Hobby Lobby or Michael's or anything. And some stencils. And you make a memory game that's a great big memory game that you can lay out onto the grass and have everybody play together. Now this right here, my family loves chess and checkers. All this is, is she got one of those outdoor floor mats that you put like, We've bought them to lay out in front of our camper before we go camping. It looks like the that um, fake turf, I think they call it. And then just spray painted white squares on it. And these are just lids to five gallon buckets. You get those at any crafts or any like, we go to Home Depot all the time and I know they have them at Home Depot and they have them in different colors or you can paint them if you want, but they're just, those are just five gallon bucket lids that she used for checkers. And wouldn't that be fun to have a whole bunch of people that just play a big giant game of checkers? Or if you could figure out how to make chess pieces, more power to you. I'm not that creative, but if you could figure out how to make chess pieces to do that, to play chess, that would be fun too, to have giant chess pieces. Or just an idea, if you made this great big board and you wanted to do chess and you had enough people, you could designate the people to be the different pieces. Like you could have one person be a king and a queen and two knights and two bishops and all your pawns and your rooks. Anyway, that would be a fun game. And then I think there was one more, if my computer will cooperate. My computer's not cooperating. Come on. My computer won't work. The last one, if I can get to it, I'll show you is a fun one. My family loves the game of Yahtzee. It's a dice game. And you can make your own dice. Oh, come on, please. Mm, let's see if it'll work. Anyway, they, what they did is they took wooden blocks and made dice and put them in a bucket. Here we go. I'll show you. Oh, well, I'll come back to that one. Put them in a bucket to play Yahtzee. 
and you just throw the bucket out and you can you could use your Yahtzee scorecards that you have for your old your Yahtzee game if you have one or you can probably I'm sure just go look up online and find a Yahtzee scorecard so that you could play Yahtzee but then the last one I forgot about this one my son was really excited about putting this together a giant kerplunk game all they used is this is just some chicken wire and some balls and some sticks these look like I, this one I tried to follow the link to it and the link was expired but it looks like just those little poles that you can buy at the nursery that you stick in next to plants to tie a plant to and it holds the plant up they're like bamboo poles um, and you could use that really easy anyway these are just some fun simple ideas that you could put together some lawn games for outside and um, when you've got family over or you've got friends over and you just want to have something to do. I know sometimes we as adults want to just visit, but the kids always want to have something to do. And I found if I have things that kids can play or do or keep them busy, then they will not be underneath of me all the time saying, when are we going to go or how much longer are we going to be here <laughs> when I'm enjoying my adult time. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Callie. She's got some ideas of how we can take these outdoor parties and put some oils into them. So. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. Those are fun. Like, I think the checkers thing would be a fun thing to make. I, I want to make, I just told my boys, I said, we're going to make some of these. After I spend all week looking at these kind of fun things, they're not hard to do, but they're fun things to do to be outside. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. All right. So I love to entertain. I love to have people over. I just, I like to have people around me all the time. I do love my alone time though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, um, so barbecues and things like that. And as Stephanie and I were putting this together, we we're like, okay, how can we tie the oils into it? And without like going too far <laughs> with, with them and everything, but obviously you can use your tear shield in the diffuser outside if there are bugs out. Um, even uh, another really cool recipe to keep flies away that I've used is a lemon. You can cut it in half and then put whole clove um, bud things that you can buy, you know, in the spice rack or spice aisle and you just stick those inside the cut lemon and I just do a little dish um, and I'll do like three or four up to six depending on the size of the table and I'll just put them down the table and that helps to keep the flies away as well. Um, and then, so yeah, that, I think that would kind of cover to make your guests comfortable, make you comfortable because it's so frustrating when you want to be outside but the flies are like out of control so where we live in rural Idaho flies are ridiculous <laughs> um okay so moving forward we got to talking about taking the oils internally like in beverages and things like that and so I am going to share a few recipes with you but wanted to talk first a little bit about taking the oils internally so when we discuss taking oils internally, we're specifically talking about doTERRA essential oils. We are not talking about any other oils on the market or that you can purchase from a grocery store or anything like that. 95% um, of essential oils on the market today are adulterated with synthetics or fillers. And breathing those in, putting them on topically um, is not good for you. Uh, we still don't know exactly what it's doing to the body because it's still so new. Like the use of oils um, more mainstream now. Everybody's like into it and trying to cut costs and cut corners. And anyway, so I just have to get that out of, <laughs> out of the way. And so right now doTERRA is currently offering 37 uh, essential oils that you can take internally um, or that are safe for internal use. And using them uh, internally means going beyond putting them on the skin. You ingest them for specific benefits and various uh, organs or cells get, get the benefits of it. Um, so there's several ways to take oils internally. You can cook with them. So adding them into your salads or your main meal, I do that all the time. That's fresher than your spices that you buy at the store. You always have them on hand. The flavor is more intensified and you need less of them. So you probably would actually save some money. I don't know if any of you have bought spices lately or herbs, and they are expensive. Kind of shocked me, because um, I hadn't bought some for a while. Anyway, uh, okay, so also taking them in beverages, which we're, that's what we're going to focus on. And then you can put them also in a veggie cap and swallow them down under the tongue is fine as well. 
Um, so using them is when you're specifically, like if you're attacking some, some threat that's going on with your body, getting them internally are, actually helps to boost that speed up as well as putting them on top, topically. And so I'm gonna just give you eight reasons to take oils internally. And you can support your immune system and function is the immune system is our number one defense against outside threats. Many oils are good for maintaining your immune system when taken internally. Um, these oils include um, cassia cilantro, which also helps support the response of the immune system. Cinnamon bark, clove, copaiba, frankincense, helichrysum, lime, marjoram, melissa, myrrh, oregano, roman chamomile, tangerine, thyme, vetiver, and wild orange. So again, those all support our immune system. And then you can also use them to support your respiratory system. And some of the oils in this category may surprise you just a little bit, um, but their internal benefits clearly include helping the respiratory system for a variety of reasons. And they include black pepper, cardamom, copaiba, and I will share a link of this. Um, it's, I've got it directly off the doTERRA site, so I'll share a link too, so that you'll have reference to all these oils as well. Um, so cardamom copaiba, so uh, just pay attention, copaiba shows up in like, I believe all eight of these, um, which is super powerful with all the news that Dr. Hill shared with us this week on it and that comparing the CBD oil. Um, okay, so fennel, lemon, lime, myrrh, oregano, peppermint, rosemary, and thyme. And of these, both peppermint and cardamom help with clear breathing. Black pepper and lemon help the respiratory system, particularly, particularly when seasonal threats are high. Okay, and then you can, the third is to take, to obtain antioxidants to protect us against free radical damage. And free radicals are harmful molecules created as your body breaks down food or by being exposed to tobacco, smoke, and radiation. And I would also like to include in this uh, breathing in not pure essential oils. That is just my own deep belief. <laughs> I've come up against that a lot this last week, two weeks, um, just because of a company in Twin Falls. All right. So um, let's see. The oils that can help. Uh, support the antioxidant uh, are black pepper again, copaiba, juniper berry, lime, oregano, pettigrain, wild orange, and ylang-ylang. So these are super easy to get in your body because it's recommended and we all recommend it. Symphony of the Cells, Boyd Truman recommends taking an, uh, citrus oil in your water every day. And so, so far their citrus oils are part of all three of these and wild orange is part of all of them. So, okay, so the next would be to aid in our normal digestive process. So this is another great thing to maybe have on your counter um, while you have your guests over. If somebody, you know, gets a little upset tummy and uh, you could have your digestion out, your tabs, the soft gels are my favorite. Um, but just having those ready available for people that maybe they don't even have to ask you or you could even make a cute little sign depending on how many people you want are going to be there, you know, tummy digestive support or help to soothe your tummy. Um, and so the oils that are with that, uh, or that, um, let's see, helps eliminate waste and absorbing the use of the nutrients we eat. So the oils help us with that. And um, so the oils that help keep us functioning normally, again, is black pepper. That's another pretty powerful one that I didn't realize. Cardamom, cassia, cilantro, copaiba again, coriander, frankincense, gin ginger, lemon, lemongrass, and tangerine. And I do know wild orange also helps support the digestive system. Um, okay, so the fifth would be, well, this kind of is just to ease occasional upset stomach. So um, I'm not going to go into that because I just kind of discussed that, but ginger is great to help with uh, support nausea and upset stomach. Um, interestingly, myrrh when taken with honey and water can also help ease the stomach, which I wasn't aware of that one either. Okay, so supporting our cardiovascular system, 
it is important that you take care of the cardiovascular system. That's what keeps the blood pumping and everything going. And it's also responsible for transporting the oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and cellular waste throughout the body. The engine of it all is the heart and the body's hardest working organ. So give it, it needs all the support it can get. Um, even when you're resting, it pumps over five liters of blood throughout your body every minute. Oils that can help include uh, bergamot, cinnamon, bark, clove, marjoram, thyme, lime, helichrysum, more specifically, again, black pepper, cinnamon, bark, clove, fennel, and thyme all help with healthy circulation as well. Okay, to provide cleansing to the internal body system, number seven, so sometimes the body just needs a cleanse and renew. Oils to include in your next cleansing smoothie or tea include cilantro. Cilantro also helps with body odor too. So if you know somebody that struggles with that or you do yourself, you know, stinky feet, um, maybe you sweat excessively. Um, helichrysum is great also for cleansing. Juniper berry, lemon, thyme, and specifically the gastrointestinal system is with, with the thyme and wild orange. Okay, number eight, calms or supports the nervous system. So from your brain to your nerves, the nervous system is complex, but taking care of it doesn't uh, need to be. In addition to getting good sleep, providing vital nutrients, and getting exercise, essential oils can help support the nervous system. And these supporting oils are the bergamot, copaiba, helichrysum, and marjoram. Oils that are calming to the nervous system are cilantro, clary sage, copaiba, lavender, and pedigree. And so this just kind of gives you an idea of how versatile the oils are. So if you're taking the recommended by Dr. Hill, copaiba, one to two drops twice a day, you're getting tons of support to the body. Super, super easy. I personally just have it there after I brush my teeth, I do it. Um, just so I remember. Okay, that, I thought that was, I just love the benefits that we get from the oils and how simple. Um, so I'm going to just share some recipes with you that you can, I think this is great with sharing with your, um, your company and maybe they aren't familiar with oils and that's something, you know, the oils benefit everybody. Um, and so this is just a great way to introduce oils to people as well. So I love this idea of flavored ice cubes. How fun would it be to, you know, even if you just flavor your water with them and then the little fruit pieces are floating in, you know, your jug or something. I think super great for uh, cocktails that you add a lime to, like either virgin cocktails or not, uh, your choice. But here's just a fun little recipe. You can screenshot this. I did find it from doTERRA.com. You can just search uh, beverages or different recipes like that. Uh, the doTERRA.com is just super uh, great, and there's tons of resources on there. So just to empower you to find things for yourself is kind of our mission as well, that you don't have to depend on anybody. Um, doTERRA does lots of fun stuff. Um, okay, so this was kind of, I thought would be fun to make too, because I love like those butter, butter mints myself, but uh, peppermint and spearmint ones. You could do either or. Um, I'm, I'm gonna make these. I think they'd just be kind of like a fun little gift as well for somebody. Um, feel free to screenshot these and again just found right off of doTERRA. Um, this was I thought a good one also for the summer. Lemonade cucumber spa pops. Have fun you know get your kids involved. Um, my daughter loves cucumbers so I think if I could get her from eating the whole all the cucumber but uh, you add your lemon essential oil to cups of water so super easy. Uh, okay so this was another thing that I thought was really cool is um, the lemonade and you could make so many different kinds of lemonade just even using the oils just to flavor so just remember you only need one to two drops with it. Um, I just meant to have this open. Oh yeah, lemonade five ways. So one, you just start with a basic uh, simple syrup, which is listed here, but then they had a lavender lemon, spearmint, uh, nectarine, 
And that one you would do uh, a whole uh, four nectarines. But um, cinnamon bark and vanilla, which I thought I would have never put those two together. Uh, blackberry basil, that one sounds really good too. Cucumber grapefruit, and then uh, some other ones you could try is you could do honey and ginger to replace the sugar in the simple syrup. Um, thought that was kind of interesting, but lemonade's always a great one for the summer. And obviously you can, by making it your own and using the oils so you're getting the benefits, plus it'll taste so much better than a store-bought one. <laughs> but you can always do a store-bought and then add your oils to it as well. Nobody's judging. <laughs> hey, Callie. Yeah. I've actually done lemonade before where I, instead of putting sugar in it, I used raw honey. And it was oh. really good. It was yeah, really okay, good. Yeah, okay, so here's the honey ginger um, lemonade. I couldn't remember if I had the recipe, but um, that is a great idea. I don't make lemonade very often but uh, I think using the honey would be fun to try okay and so here's like a mock cranberry lime spritzer uh, so obviously if you're an alcohol drinker you could always add your alcohol of choice to this um, but I think this one is great for kids as well like just kind of a refreshing little drink Kind of reminds me of like a limeade. I love limeades. Yeah, and that was it. Those are just some fun little recipes I found. Like I said, I found them all on um, doTERRA. So they have like smoothie recipes, those types of things. But those I thought you could probably make in a pretty good bulk that you could serve somebody in. And then it beats... Um, Something that kind of drives me crazy is like you buy bottled waters or you buy a pot for kids and they take like three drinks out of it. And then when you go to clean up after everybody's left, how much you throw away. <laughs> so I think I like the idea of having like the jug and then they can just come and take it as they needed. But that's all I have. Does anybody have any questions that, about internal usage? Okay, Stephanie, do you have anything else? No, not just to, that it's a nice day today and I do want to go outside now. I know. <laughs> do something outside. It's been raining every day and it's finally not raining today. So yeah. good day for some yard work. Um, so I just do want to, next Friday is keeping up the 31st, is keeping up with your summer. And I believe that is Jamie and Jana. Yes, okay. And then we have Memorial Weekend, so maybe make up some lemonade this weekend for your barbecue. <laughs> and then the last thing before we go, I just wanna make sure everybody is aware of the Healthy Habits Challenge that we are starting on June 1st. Um, and what it is is basically through the month of June, we're gonna be doing classes specifically on the the doTERRA wellness pyramid where we're going to focus on eating right, exercise, rest, man rest and manage stress, and reducing your toxic load. And so that's going to be our topics for our classes. But we also have a fun challenge put together that you can participate in to do little daily challenges and win some prizes in the month of June. So be watching the Naturally You group. It was, hopefully today I will have a link put up that you can register for that. Um, or get with the person who invited you and they can get you the link because I'm getting that put together today. So it's gonna be really fun and we really wanna have everybody participate as much as possible because the whole point is you bought your oils, you bought your, maybe your lifelong vitality, let's learn how to use them and have it make you more healthy and put it into your daily habits so that you can have a healthier lifestyle than maybe what you had before. So thanks for being here everybody. Thanks. See you. Have a great weekend. Thanks, ladies.